the, the World Expo, the big expo that's mm-hmm. going every year, one, yeah. one year in the States and one year in, in England. All right, we are back. I'm here with Rune, and hey. uh, we're going to give you um, an overview of the um, of the lists. But before that, we're going to point out that uh, this amazing playmat, it was uh, it's not an easy playmat to. No, to we have been very fortunate to have it uh, lent to us uh, by uh, by Thomas uh, Mikkelsen, uh, who uh, who who won it uh, in a contest where you could. Uh, um, Give uh, or you could. Uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, you could uh, bring uh, ideas up for for uh, iconic ships that you wanted to see played in uh, in the invitational tournament. Okay. Okay. Like. Uh, um, mm-hmm. And uh, there was, uh, a f- a f- I think, four different uh, options uh, that uh, people. Uh, the people could vote on which, which uh, versions of the planes they liked the most mm-hmm. uh, and the and ideas behind them, which upgrades and so. There's very few people with this uh, specific yeah, o- plane. Yeah, only the, the eight people participating who participated in the course and Invitational and then I think four guys who were lucky enough to, to have their ships uh, or idea for ships uh, voted um, into being played in one of the invitational lists. So it's a very special uh, playmat. Yeah, and, and it's, uh, it's very nice, this playing chorus and bang in the middle. So we are lucky to have it. Yeah. Um, we are also uh, enjoying the pink and black uh, damage decks. Yep, um, very nice as well. And uh, we have uh, on the top eight, the winners of the last round, uh, Casper uh, Schelling and Tommy Buhr. Yeah, we have the, 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 the rema- remaining two Danes facing off for uh, for spot at the semifinals. We've uh, uh, we've had both on stream uh, earlier in, uh, mm. in the first and the first day uh, actually. Um, let's start with the Casper and refresh. Uh, what's his uh, Atani version uh, all about? Yeah, it's a, a modified uh, version of the of the Paratani list. Uh, has a, uh, a standard Fen Rao, uh, and then uh, in, instead of Manaru, has a contracted scout with an intelligence agent, uh, and then that leaves a bit, a few points to uh, to bring a burnout slam on uh, Ventress. Yeah, uh, it's it's is this a bump master? Is, is his purpose to get yeah, in I think and it's, uh, uh, disturb to, uh, control? Uh, to, to see, to spot where his opponent is going and giving him, him some options uh, with the placing uh, his scout and also uh, how to position Ventress's mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. mobile firing arc. Time, uh, time is not on, uh, will be announced. Uh, we will begin the game in five minutes. In five how many minutes. Is it 75 minutes? 75 minutes, yes. Minutes. yes. Okay. Do you and guys need anything to drink? We'll uh, appreciate some uh, water. I'll be fine. Coke, more than Coke, yes, please. And uh, Tommy's uh, list on the right. Uh, this is a defensive uh, rebel list. Yeah, and ver- very very uh, popular list or setup at the at the moment. Uh, we have Lorik with the selflessness and the commandos, uh, able to uh, absorb a lot of damage, and he can pull uh, a lot of damage onto himself. One of the bodyguards of yeah. uh, Miranda. And then uh, Bix with the damage reduction droid and of course in- integrated astromech the main bodyguard of yep. Miranda and then uh, of, of course the 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 main gun Miranda uh, with the uh, the TLT concussion missiles to be able to have a bit of alpha strike as well and bomblet generator so she's very annoying very hard to to take down I'm yeah. not sure of these two lists how are they going to face yeah, off? Which of them I'm, I would be betting on? Both uh, both players are very good. I've faced off against Casper uh, on Friday. Uh, I did not come out <laughs> too good against him there. He took the day. And um, and they both brought medium to small uh, asteroids. Yeah. So they are not interested in having their uh, large base ships bumping... Uh, bumping um, Drive uh, flying into asteroids. Oh. 
Um, because Tommy doesn't have any large ship, but then again, he wants to be able to to do his uh, turns. Uh, information. Yeah. So it's in a way, it's if if the formation is correct, it's almost like a, a little bigger than a large base ship. Mm. Uh, if he flies really really tight uh, yep. formation. Just go out and see if, if they've been told about the rolling dice. And um, we have uh, three rounds to go today. This is the second one with the top eight players. We're going to go then for semifinals and we're going to have the final um, in the afternoon. We hope we can accommodate all the audience who... Uh, who is very curious and will want to see the best two players of the Nordic uh, X-Wing uh, miniatures game tournament. And Casper um, is already positioning uh, his contracted scout, reminding us that uh, he has a very fancy uh, Tron-style paint job going on. Uh, most likely he will keep his fan on the opposite side baiting and uh, not engaging in the beginning that's uh, what we've seen before and that's how uh, Ratani works many times yeah so he has put up his scout yeah power skill 3 goes first yep. and then um, we're gonna have uh, Lorik and Biggs and of course Miranda will be behind one of them or just in the middle, depending on how uh, how he will create his formation. Depends also how he plans to turn. Um, most likely Miranda will be behind the uh, bigs. Yeah, behind or in, in between, there's a bit of room in between them, so there might be... All right. The clock has started. And... Uh, and the players are um, are finishing their setup. Miranda has been uh, positioned in between uh, and behind the the two bodyguards. So we have Asajj in the corner, far left corner. It's going to be making a uh, fast uh, circles. And uh, I don't see Fen Rao. Uh, Pilot skill nine is the last one, mm -hmm. so it just should be put now after Miranda. And yeah. if he's going to use it as a bait, he yeah, will put Kasper's it. Yeah, like considering whether to go in for a joust position to to bait or put it over close to the remaining ships to keep them in formation. These two players have faced off s several times in the past in different tournaments. So we know each other's play styles. So uh, he decided to keep everyone uh, together. Let's see. Um, He's facing Fenrao along the edge, so he still in a able to to go for the flanking. Yeah, go along the edge to to go in for a pincer or just make a hard turn and follow the the other two. What uh, what will be the priority target on Casper's uh, list? Because of course Tommy uh, has the control on the targets on his side. Uh, mm. Biggs has to go down. Then Lorik yeah. probably uh, will go down before Miranda, because Miranda can run. Yeah, so it's either Fen or, or Ventress because the the, the scout it uh, it's an it's an easy target, but there's not a lot of points in it. Yeah, that's uh, twenty seven points. Yeah. It's one of the cheapest uh, builds for a scout uh, with intelligence agents just uh, getting in there. Yeah. Actually, the scout might be the the, the key for his list. Mm. Sending the scout uh, to create uh, a bump situation yeah. and spreading the breaking the formation of uh, Tommy. Mm. And of course, uh, Rao is uh, really annoying because he, he has a huge damage output and can be difficult to take down unless you get him in an unfortunate position. But Ventress with... with he ah, no, he of course he doesn't have a shadow cast on, so she's not as dangerous mm -hmm. in this setup. Not enough points. Nope. 
but the scout is on the move. Round yeah. one uh, of this match so has started. If, if he can uh, catch Fen Rao, that would be uh, a very good target. I've seen in, in the match we streamed uh, with Casper um, on the stream. It was uh, it was the Ventress who was in trouble. I was surprised. Mm. It's it's supposedly the most resistant ship in his list. Yeah. But somehow under focused fire, it got uh, it depends three on hull left. Yeah, it, it, uh, it depends on whether he can, uh, if he can stress his opponents. Mm. If his opponents can avoid the mobile arc, um, he has a lot, uh, or not easy, but easier yeah. time. That's an automatic um, evade. Yeah. And at the moment, there are not, not uh, that many uh, mind link lists. Uh, they have a really hard time against... Uh, against Ventress <coughs> that was, was what I played against him on, on Friday and every round unless I avoided the arc all of my ships were um, would be stressed mm. so he had a lot of automatic evades every turn and that makes her from everyone who shoots with the stress you yeah. can just remove the stress and get evades yeah, yeah. makes her very tanky against the uh, mind link lists yeah he, he basically has uh, if there's three ships with stress shooting at him he has three evades yeah. So mind link and uh, a lot of ace lists with the push the limit. Um. So it's still early to see to say where the engagement is going to happen, mm. but they might turn in. Yeah, so he, into he the turned of the board. Fen in to follow the the remaining ships. So Fen Rao is not uh, committing to uh, flanking, also because of the position of uh, of uh, the rebels, and uh, they're gonna pace. They might uh, take it easy and see where is the the place of engagement. Barrel rolling to the right. The pilot skills uh, alternate quite a lot. We start with the scout, then we move to Lorik Biggs, yeah. then we move back to Asajj, then we run, then Fen Rao. Uh, this is uh, something that the players have to have very present in their minds. Yeah. Because when they all uh, uh, bump into a cluster, this will, this will be extremely relevant if you forget the exact order yeah. of activation. That could be very disastrous. That's the tricky thing about uh, these um, TIE swarms with uh, name pilots and they all have different pilot mm. skills. Then yeah. it becomes really confusing. That's why I don't fly those, those <laughs> kind of builds. It's just in my head, I can't handle it. Too many ships and mm. too many calculations. I would always surprise myself and ended up bumping my own ships, uh, not following the right order. It seems like uh, Asajj is... Uh, Secondary arc is pointing backwards. I can't see the the tip, but it looks like it's pointing it backwards. backwards. Oh. Interesting. Most likely done on purpose to to make keep Tommy guessing which direction she will uh, go. And uh, he needs his uh, secondary arc to stress. Uh, yeah. yeah. Range one to two in the s uh, in the mobile arc. Yeah. Fan just behind the scout. Everyone gets a focus. Still stalling. Still waiting for uh, his opponent to make a uh, to rush in. And the judge has mm. been called already. Uh, nothing. Nothing in particular has happened. I think it's something with uh, discussing some of the mobile arc that maybe he forgot to turn it front okay Th i mean we were surprised that it was uh, facing yeah. backwards but if he forgot yeah then it was set like this in the placement and that's how it is yeah <coughs> so this might might have been a mistake and not uh, a trick played by casper yeah um it's still it's still uh, plenty it's still of still early uh, so yeah. so uh, 
plenty of space to correct that. He can do it uh, most likely this uh, the upcoming uh, round. He'll position his arc. I'm guessing two more rounds until they are in shooting mm. range. Yeah. And even, even if. Uh, but of course, had this uh, coming turn been the one where the engagement had happened, it would have lost him an action. Mm -hmm. But uh, a tiny, a tiny lists they have uh, action economy, so yeah. uh, of course he would like to take an evade and get a free focus from mm. uh, from the scout. Uh, but he has to correct his arc at some point. A very helpful uh, pink um, yep. mobile arc. This is a. Uh, I heard it was a 3D printed. Uh, yeah, from one, one of the the local guys. From Kim, Kim Reynolds. Done some some lovely mobile firing arcs there. So. Uh, all we need to know about Tommy's uh, positioning is the first ship to move. Then we can imagine where the others are going. Mm. So this is a two bank. We can imagine that all the other ships will do a two or a three bank. And a three to keep up aligned with the Loic. Since it was a bit further back. Um, he could be going for a uh, fan. That is a yeah, fast... Uh, Sash going yeah. straight ahead. And correcting now. So spending yeah. an action to uh, to change the mobile fire arc. Alright, finally Miranda will... Uh, yeah. so I'm guessing he'll... Next turn... Bang or a sharp turn into the towards Tommy with a pincer. And Miranda has not been dropping anything so far. Nope. He has been um, saving himself the trouble, but. Most likely in the next two to three, four rounds, there's going to be a, a bomblet every turn. Yeah. And Fen bumping. Yeah, pacing, uh, yeah. holding back. To be able to, to go slow. There's a lot of excitement from uh, the top eight who made it this far, who are not eliminated. Uh, we can hear a lot of uh, a lot of uh, chatting just outside of our booth. The two players on the stream, they are quiet and they are cautious about their moves. Extra pressure for being on camera. So that will be shots fired uh, in this next round, uh, most likely. Um, probably Fen will try and keep out one more time. Um, and let's see if Biggs goes close enough to be at range 3 and give shield Miranda and uh, Lorik. It might be in a... In a Sarge interest to to, uh, to do a three bank or a three turn, and start stressing ships.
So, scout, first one to move. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna see if... Uh, if this is the turn where we're gonna have some first shots. And how are the ships positioned? Seems like he's uh, staying away, avoiding. Didn't take the focus, did a better roll. Somebody has to take the focus. That's how the list works. Tommy taking it easy. His list is uh, going slow and probably will for many turns. Seems like Biggs is uh, out of range of the scout. All right, and uh, Asajj will come fast and furious. So we'll have first shot fired in this turn. And only Miranda will be able to shoot uh, Asajj. No, Lorik will as well. Oh yeah, and Lorik, um, yeah. if if uh, Tommy has that as a, as his primary target. Now, um, Asajj might have gotten a little too close uh, to bombs. Because uh, does he have uh, one or two turns? And two and three. Only two and three. Yeah, the Lancer is a very quick ship, but it doesn't have a lot. Not a lot of the the um, short maneuvers. Okay, but if Miranda was gonna drop anything, it would have no. been before the yeah. maneuver. It has a one bank. Ooh, okay. So, so uh, aggressive flying with Fen. Let's see if he can repo yeah, he'll go for repositioning. I think it's coming in. Yeah, yeah. Um. I think if he barrel rolls mm. up, he might avoid shooting bigs. Mm. Mm. The Lance has a very interesting ship to fly because if it gets stressed, it only ha it has to move uh, far to clear it. It mm -hmm. has uh, the, sh uh, the banks threes. and turns are green on three, not on one or two as the uh, usual most ships. Mm. So it takes a bit of planning. Also one of the only ship with a a 5k that and the ghost i haven't seen a uh, a lot of 5ks from uh from the lancers but the ghost no, is uh, it's not used that that often especially with atani yeah. but um checking for range it's also the the only red maneuver the lancer has mm. so it's rarely used on on atani lists three hits and looks like Biggs has uh, plenty of evades. It's uh, a Saj maybe too far for stressing. No, he's no stressed to Miranda. 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 Mm, interesting. He's probably gonna let that uh, stress stay. Or let's see if it's gonna be useful. Yeah. No, this is Miranda shooting first. Uh, TLT. Yeah. That's gonna hit one shield on Asajj. And that's not gonna be no. enough. So one shield, but no need to remove the stress. <coughs> Limits Miranda slightly next round. So this will be a uh, Lorik shooting. Rerolling the focus for one and uh, plenty of evades. Mm. And um, that has been the combat phase. Yeah. So Ventr um, Ventress didn't do any damage. Yeah, very, mm. very uh, mm. peaceful. Ventress lost the shield. Fan was too far to be effective. Um, Miranda is stressed. That might have been uh, the best. Uh, that might have been the plan of Casper mm. trying to cause a little uh, control on movement. 
Which uh, which greens do we have on the K uh, K Only wing? One and two straight and uh, one bank. So actually, it was um, it was very uh, very smart because right now Miranda could get in position for um, for um, concussion missiles yeah. or for or just she'll have a hard time of getting uh, away with the uh, of slamming away. Yeah. So she's not able to. Uh, in this case, she might might have been able to do uh, three bank and then slam three to pass Fen and drop the. Oh no, she's uh, it's a bomblet, so she can't. Uh, she has to drop them uh, when revealing. Mm -hmm. um, and it might be that uh, no, but the lancer going one forward will still have to. Uh, uh, it will not be able to stress again unless mm. if you're bumping you can still be stressed yeah it's okay just so has it, to it, it just has to be inside the arc yeah, so bump is not the worst thing that can happen and you can also turn and, and move the fire move yeah, the and, uh, and he will get uh, still get his focus from uh, from the scout so maybe uh, one straight from uh, depending on i think one straight would uh, clear the rock so um, that little stress has actually a lot of meaning mm? in this uh, in this round. Yeah. So. So even if uh, Ventress went in and uh, and got if Tommy turns right and and blocks Ventress, she would still have a, she would still have a, a, a modified shot on on Biggs. Okay. So the scout turning in. Yeah. Mm setting up for the bump next round i don't know if yeah. it will be successful this round taking and the and focus no. for everyone Partani is definitely not dead yet <coughs> but no you don't see a lot of players playing it anymore but uh casper has been doing it for for a while and has modified it gotten most out of it manaru might be dead yeah manaru you don't see manaru a lot anymore her nerf did quite take her out of mm -hmm. the picture it's range one to, yeah. to activate it. So you have to out. really fly her information to get most out of her. And then in this case, you get more out of uh, downgrading to, uh, to a scout. And you be able to use it to, to bump and get a few more upgrades in. The burnout slam on Ventress is, uh, is really good. Because you can use it to, to either catch up to, to an opponent or to uh, get yourself out of a, of a tricky spot. Let's see if he's going to change his movable arc. Mm. Also seen it used in quite a surprising offensive way. Uh, Lancer with the burnout slam and engine upgrade is able to, uh, in the first round, get behind you and be in your deployment zone. Okay. Yeah. Does it five straight burnout slam for another five, and then. Uh, so the five uh, K uh, uh, is not the only five. Uh, no, it has a five straight. Okay, it's because the ghost has only a four yeah. forward and a, and a five K. Very fast ship. That's that's uh, ten plus the ship. Uh, yeah, so twelve. Uh, twelve. That's insane. And then uh, if it has uh, advanced slam, it can then an engine. That is insane. All right, so uh, Miranda, mm, it's still within stress arc, which is not good for her. And uh, it seems like this is a, a moment to change targets. Maybe Tommy will try to melt down the scout as soon as yeah. possible before. Uh, I mean, it, w it will not be enough, moment, I think. Four yeah, dice from Biggs, four dice from... The uh, question is whether Fen is in range one of Miranda here. I don't think he is, so my guess Fen is we'll s unless the rock is in the whales, I think we'll see a, yeah, a boost. No, but Fen has not moved yet. Oh, it's just... No, no, oh or yeah, there, yeah. Has, there, there has been uh, revealed. So, yeah, so that brings him into range one, pointing directly at Miranda. And uh, we don't have a laser, there. but it could be that... Oh, he might just be behind. Yeah, from our angle, it looks yeah. like Biggs is out, but oh. uh, we're going to see. 
Oh yeah, and of All course right. the, the bomblet. Two shields down on a... Uh, so Ventress is without shields mm -hmm. from this... Uh, from this bomb. <clears throat> All right, we got uh, five dice coming. Um, I don't know if they they want no. to check who's in range. Yeah, yeah. I think Flynn was out of arc, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, they're starting up at stressing. And there's a lot of discussing. Oh. All right, we got only ah. one one hit in a crit, and we run the spends the focus. <laughs> Loses one shield. Okay, that was a very, very uh, weak shot yeah. from Fen. Miranda very survived. Very And now, uh, where is uh, Tommy going to put his mm. uh, his dice? He could actually shoot uh, I'm he's four on Fen. No, uh, yeah, if he... If he uh if he burns a shield, he can go for a four die attack on Fen, and then that could potentially have a crit in the mix. And yeah, uh, Fen there's only Fen, but still, Fen would have four dies with a focus okay. and uh, auto thrusters, so it's it's true. Yeah, guessing he'll go for burning down the the scout. Concentrated fire is uh, probably the best option now. Also, at the moment, it's in a great position to to block in the next round. So um, the scout loses one shield and two, uh, shields. two shields out. We have mm. a Saj now. And then we'll have eight dice from range two on and Bix. Bigs, Bigs together. That is an amazing Ooh. roll. If those are crits, hit crit crit, one evade. What will happen? Two, Two shields. shields. Lorik does not provide the the protection now. Saving it for later. We're gonna go uh, probably Bigs, range one. Three hits from the Wookie. Spends the focus for two evades. So one there is shield. The one shield left on the scout. And uh, two more, two natural evades. Wow. And the scout at range one on bigs puts three crits. That's insane. Spends. And the question is, what will he do? Will he just take the crit? Take he flips crit. it, he can see it before he ejects uh, R4-D6. And if it's nothing uh, too bad, he will take it. All right. So we got a, a crit on Bix. And Bix can no, long so. can no longer do white to turns. Everything is red. Yeah. That was a damage engine crit. Um, this has been a very, very uh, good round for Casper. The scout is something uh, disposable and yep. is going to do some bumping next round. So that's what, what he's Only there for. Took minimal damage. So all, all a good round for him. Intelligence agent will, uh, will activate also giving him uh, mm. extra planning. Uh, capability yeah. let's see if fan can uh, put one more uh, range one shot but now he also has to plan for the uh, miranda will drop down the bomb the bomblet so he has to to plan for that question is will we see ventress do uh he should most likely do it uh two turn to the right i think should so be able to turn then again the next turn and, and be back into the board what will he do with, with Fen? Yeah, Fen probably will just have to fly away. Yeah, Maybe because do a it's four. too dangerous. If uh, if Tommy is sneaky, he might plan just uh, moving one straight or so, dropping the bomb, getting Miranda, either bumping her or to create a trap for, for Fen. 
So yeah, safest bet would be to to get uh, Fen away, then bring him back in for uh, for next round. Maybe we can just do a quick check on the on the damage to make sure we have the right uh, damage. Yeah. To uh, we have Asajj without uh, shields, but does it have anything on top of that? And uh, and the bumping here is tricky because uh, the scout is there. He's on the way, uh, but if he bumps all the ships, then of course Fen cannot turn and cannot uh, barrel roll away from the bomb. Um, all right. So Fen Fen Rao has taken one damage. All right. Yeah, going for the bump. And of course, Casper wants Tommy to spread the damage. And that's exactly what has been happening. There has been mm. three shields on Ventress. There has been one damage on Fan. There has been... A uh, few, uh, three shields on the scout. As far as we could see, Miranda did not recover, but uh, maybe we missed. All right, so Miranda did recover, recover one ship. Mm. That's what she does. All right, moving away, um, not not uh, accepting the bump, but uh, that's a risky. He he reinforced, but that's a risky maneuver. Uh, Biggs, let's see if that's uh, a 4K or he just stays there. Mm. He tries to bank in, oh, but it go? three bank. I think maybe it clears. I think it ju might just about. Mm, no, no. There's a lot of hands. <laughs> the way I think they moved slightly the 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 marker for the ship. All right, so it's just a straightforward bump. Where will Miranda go? As a stressed ship, she doesn't have many options but no. to bump. That will leave Asajj within a uh, bomblet range. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, well, he's close. Yeah, she might be. Uh, she might be out of uh, or mm. my out of range. Range one is actually bigger than mm. uh, than we think. This angle is deceiving, but uh, I'm guessing uh, Fen Rao has now a, a three bank option mm. and a boost. Somebody had to take the focus, and it was a Saj. And now, of course, uh, Miranda will drop something, unless Tommy is extremely distracted. Nope. There it is. Most of the ships doing their um, the plan, uh, doing what they are meant mm. to do. Uh, we will see if the result is uh, what they hoped for. Straight ahead to yeah. clear the stress. And uh, hopefully getting out of uh, range 2 of yeah. Asajj. Bumping and the finally scout. being able to breathe. Yeah. Bumping the scout. So only available target for that is, uh, is Lorik. Who has his reinforce. Would you... Uh okay, that's a 3 turn. He's, uh, he's not getting out of... Uh, 
Oh. Of range of the moment, he wants to shoot somebody. So he's that gonna barrel yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, the barrel. Otherwise, it would be way too risky. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to shoot with the. No. He would survive the bomb uh, unless it was a, a crit for a, for a direct. No, but the problem is uh, uh, he has Sabine, so he would risk taking three hits and being out of the game. It's true. It's true. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, he was most likely counting or uh, hoping. It was a, a a good bet because if Tommy had uh, moved more aggressively, uh, he could have boosted with Fen. No, there wouldn't be room. He would. He would be caught by the scout. Yes. So a sash. That looks like that looked like two uh two hits. One. Yep. Two, two hits on a sash. A sash has taken two bombs. Yeah. Fully uh. Fully hitting with the with the red dice. So that's been four damage just yeah, from bomb Or maybe uh, I guess only one of them, and then uh, and then Sabine, of course. Ooh, I forgot to add Sabine. But I think uh, he he only took two damage, so may, um, I think one ah, of them was must focus. have been a uh, focus, yeah. All right, so uh, Fen doesn't shoot, so this is Miranda. Um, looks like only one. Spending the evade? No, spending the focus. And one taking a damage mm -hmm. on a, on a Sash. Left with four hull. That's crazy. We, we might see Asajj out of the board uh, pretty soon. Yeah. And now uh, shooting back. With uh, three, three paint that looks like a, a crit passing the two evades. So Biggs has to eject if he doesn't want to take this crit. There's a lot of commotion. You're wondering what this mm. uh, crit is and if he ejected the astromech. Seems like the scout is shooting on a the only possible target. That's two for one. One shield. Uh, Lorik will uh, will be fine. So the question is, what happened with that uh, crit on Biggs? So the crit on Biggs was uh, blind pilot. Did he eject uh, the the astromech? Uh, I don't think so. Just a second. It doesn't seem like Biggs would be able to shoot anyway, but uh, it would be nice to survive a little longer. He hasn't ejected his astromech, so he is. Uh okay, so he's left with the, uh, with one hole. Yeah, I'm guessing he's going for bumping the next turn or just keeping him as as a buffer, still having people to shoot on him. Still has the option of uh, uh, a massive hit, can reduce it to. Uh to two hits and then eject well that would still take him out exactly so so maybe it wasn't the best option can he use the ability of the astromech and then eject it yeah okay but then he would need to have two hull left yeah all right so only Asajj has a uh, has to know where to move so Asajj is just gonna probably bank and try to catch Biggs uh, Fen Rao maybe has a three turn around the rock that seems like it would fit perfectly yeah um, and will catch either Miranda or Lorik uh, I have a feeling that Lorik will turn down and try to get Ark on the scout mm. uh, the question is Miranda by dropping a bomblet there might hit Biggs if Biggs stays there so Biggs probably is going to do a four forward yeah and the scout is basically trapped got some candy <laughs> keeping the, the player's mind sharp a little sugar rush so 
So um, it's hard to say who has the upper hand right now. At any moment, uh, Fen can be killed and can kill a ship. So it's... Uh, mm. I'm not sure how to interpret... Uh, yeah. I just go out to confirm with Bix because he did also get receive the damaged engine before. So I'm just checking... Uh, mm -hmm. So we have the scout trying to get away, but that's going to leave him still at range 1 from the bomblet. That's going to be another victim. Very successfully bombing Miranda this, uh, this match. But that might block uh, Lorik's uh, three turn. Yeah, that will definitely block Lorik's three turn. Um, Let's see if he actually got out of range one of the bomblet. I don't think so. <coughs> it's incredibly sneaky how he flies around the rock. Mm. Oh. What did that he? It was a two turn. A two turn. Just clearing it. <laughs> so basically, he he can't move. I think. Mm. Okay, he moves a bit forward. Of course, Bix uh, flipped down the blinded pilot since it, he got it before he had the uh, shooting opportunity. Okay, okay, so, so that's why he didn't care. Yeah, so at the moment... Uh, so, okay, so he's playing. Okay, this is risky because mm. Bix going up means he will be just in... He will be chased by, uh, by Fen. Yeah, but on the other hand, he'll be in... Uh, He'll keep in bodyguard position. Like a good bodyguard, he just takes the beating. He All could right. have made a K-turn to perhaps hope for one last shot. But in, instead in this place he forces... Uh, he will force Fen to take the shot at, uh, at Bix instead of Miranda. Mm -hmm. And here Asajj again going too close to the bomb. I'm kind of surprised. Mm. Uh, Casper doesn't give a damn about bombs no. this uh, <laughs> match. He just wants to stress Miranda. He wants control. He wants to get in uh, his guns. And mostly Tommy's list is uh, pretty intact. Biggs is doing what he's supposed to. Yeah. And Lorik probably will uh, discard selflessness this round. Yeah, of course. Unle uh, yeah, un unless uh, any crits go. Burnout through. slam. Is that what I'm seeing? He's just ah, going yeah, to get yeah. away from the bomb and reposition and... Uh, he'll, oh, Burnout Slam will place him, um, place him on top of the... Oh, he'll... Uh, he'll Ooh. Sit on top of the rock. Is he, does he... He clears Fen? Oh, that is... That is crazy. Where will Fen go? The the three turn oh, will that fit. That was uh, that was close. It's a good spot from Casper that uh, that there was actually room for. And uh, burnout for slam is a maneuver. You can't just decide not to do it if it doesn't no, it's fit. No, it's not like a, like a boost or barrel roll. If it's uh, it's an extra maneuver, so all all ordinary rules counts. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, you can also uh, slam off the board. All right, so let's calculate. The scout will take maybe three damage, and then Miranda could spend the shield to bring it down. Biggs doesn't have a doesn't have arc, so this could be it for the scout. Let's see how he rolls that bomb. And we still oh have yeah, um, still have Fan. Yeah. Well, guessing we'll see the three k or three turn now. Wow, this is a really high level uh, <laughs> X-Wing flying, millimetrically uh, nope, fitting the ships. Uh, he needs to take a focus. Ah, uh, yeah. So he, he'll not move too aggressively. He won't risk getting into range 2 of uh, the TLT. That would be mm -hmm. too sweet a uh, target for, for uh, Miranda, even with auto thrusters.
All right, seems like uh, Asajj saved from the bomb, but uh, he's going to roll two hits. Ooh, and three and with Miranda. Sabine. Ouch. There's going to be some damage there. One, two, three. So, all... All um, Miranda has to do is bring down the scout. Trying no to stress. For stressing. It looked like it was enough for Biggs, but. Just outside. Range. Fence range 2 of Biggs. No, it could be out of arc. I think they might oh, call a judge on this one. Oh. oh, yeah, of course, you only banked, so... That was a too cautious bank. Uh, mm. We were really batting on the three, but we didn't know where Biggs was going to be. No. But basically, Biggs couldn't be uh, too close because of the bomb blood. Mm. Otherwise, it would have been a waste. Quite intense. This, uh, this should be Miranda. Uh, oh, spending she, a shield. Yeah. So three. This is enough. But we have uh, spend the focus. focus for two and taking only one. And it's a crit. Oh. So the scout survives. All right, but it was a good bit from Miranda, losing a shield. To try and uh, 30 minutes left announced uh, by Paul that was a uh, massage how many red dice was that and Biggs just refuses to die did the scout shoot Mm. Apparently so, the back to dials. How is Big still uh, alive? I think uh, maybe um, Sash must have missed, and I, I guess uh, Lorik might have used just to use selfishness. Yeah, yeah, most likely. We can see uh, Hune is there checking uh, the situation. Mass Backman uh, also there. He was uh, pretty devastated on the first day uh, for a bad, bad uh, match uh, in the in his last round, uh, stealing away his chances to be in the cut. dials down this game is uh is continuing uh, with the same intensity so the scout received a damage sensor ray crit and uh, Bix uh, survived unscathed through this round wow so yeah but self uh, has not been uh, used nope all right so apparently he must have evaded everything wow that's crazy yeah now tommy has the luck on his side and has been flying smart We're probably going to see the scout going again for a bump. Otherwise, it will be the end of uh, this jump master. And the damage sensor ray will does not, so the scout can't take actions. Only trying to f only try to flip the. This is probably going to do a one forward or something slow. Or going in for. Going for bump. Isn't that a rock? He rolls for yeah, the no. rock. No, that he rolls to. Um, ah, to to flip the. Yeah. Okay, no, he's just in front of the yeah. rock, but he's trying to bump uh, all yeah, three ships if they go in that direction. Yeah. Lorik um, can turn down or can uh, turn up. We're gonna see. 
Looks like it's uh, turning down. Yeah. Which could mean uh, some shots on Asajj. It has been a while since uh, Lark has shot. Which means Bix will also have to turn to the right to stay at range one. Mm. Miranda will drop a bomb. No, if if it drops a bomb, it can kill Bix. Oh yeah, is, but uh, uh, he does. He just right. goes still, and then Mir if Mir Miranda going one straight, dropping the bomb, going one straight, that will leave her able to to shoot. Because oh, now, has a main gun. yeah, yeah, Bix has, has arc on the scout. It looks like a range yeah. one. This is also a psychological game. Maybe mm. uh, Miranda doesn't need to, to drop the bomb and that's what Casper oh, has to count for. Yeah. He of course he drops it because that limits fence options severely. He either has to bang or move straight. If he turns, he, ha he will have to barrel roll out of, out of range. All right, and it bumps the scout. Okay. Hmm. Thought it would have just guns. Okay, there's some clapping there. Mm. Someone just uh, mm. finished uh, their match. Or maybe hadn't. I uh, most likely hadn't foreseen that Casper uh, would actually do that. So he got out guessed. Okay, Fen again has to make a decision. <laughs> Take a bomb and mm. risk. And uh, have a shot, uh, or just barrel roll away. If he, I can, I think boost one straight ahead. Yeah, maybe, or if but let's if say you boost if he one would, straight, maybe you, you yeah. lose the arc. Yeah, the safe bet would be to barrel roll to the left. Yeah, that's probably <coughs> what uh, what he will do. I, I've seen uh, over the last uh, last moves, Casper has been more cautious than uh, than yeah. taking a gamble. Yeah. And of course, uh, and he is, uh, it was early to take Campbell's, but we are betting and on he a is better. Good at, uh, he, he often plays like that. Yeah, trying to the more the conservative, uh, not taking too and many chances unless they are well calculated chances and odds are in his favor. That's what uh, what got him here. Yeah, uh, and in this so case, uh, if there's any risk of being too close, it would would be too high uh, a risk because Fen would be crippled and potentially dead if he is caught by the bomb. All right, bomb is uh, wasted and uh, no victims this time. But it forced uh, it forced uh, Fen to stay at range three instead of uh, being able to boost into uh, to closer range. But it looks so like it still had shots on Biggs. Two hits. Uh, range 3, Bix needs something... No, he will eject the Astromech to survive. But uh, can he... Is it, uh, he has no... Uh, he has one evade uh, for two hits. Uh, okay. So uh, that's the only solution. Yeah. Is to lose R46. And then uh, let's see if Miranda has a shot on one of the far left ships going for Ventress two uh, one focus is not enough so nope. Ventress takes another damage goes down to three uh, the other Death TLT by a thousand cuts. to recover nope nothing all right so uh, Ventress got lucky there playing it a little safe Whoa, that was, uh, hmm. that was difficult to understand <laughs> what happened there. All right, so he's going for Bix. And uh, that's only one. Can Bix survive this? That looks like a focus spent for an evade. Oh. It's incredible how Bix refuses to leave the battlefield. All the tricks have been spent. Yeah. What to do now? There's no way... Um, we have Fen shooting Biggs, we have 
really amazing. <laughs> the scout at range one shooting bigs. Everyone shoots bigs and bigs doesn't die. It's crazy. This could stalking and weaving like a true ace. This this could have been the turning point. Yeah. Because uh, once again, Biggs will be there to protect Miranda. Uh, maybe maybe not. Depends on what. Of course, there's the rock. How can if the scout can get a block in on on Biggs? Depends on where Miranda will move. And, and he has the if he if he remembers, he has the intelligence agent. Yeah. And but but he knows he's not gonna yes, do a yes. turn. Uh, because turns are red, and he wants to. Yeah. He wants to focus. Okay, so he's going for. So uh, he can do actions now. Yeah, yeah, and he will. He's going for the block. So Biggs was trying to run away, probably with a three bank. Uh, let's see. No, no. Oh, he, so he goes for an, instead for going for a kill shot. He could have bumped Biggs there. That was naive because Biggs cannot be shot down. <laughs> That's something he should have learned by now. Yeah. Uh, maybe he's trying to regroup on the right side of mm. the battlefield. I don't know. Um, Sash. Not so much space, considering there's going to be a bomb. The scout also only has two hulls, so maybe he tr was trying to get out of uh, range. Five forward. That's that's insane. Mm. How fast. Uh, both players um, mm. not presenting herself for the bomb. Licking wounds right now, although uh, Tommy has the upper hand. Yeah. Still hasn't used selflessness on, on Lorik, so if he can bring Lorik and uh, Miranda close together, mm -hmm. he There's definitely a, has another the other They are very tough to take down. Alright, so they are together now. Uh, abandoning Biggs to his luck. Yeah. And we have seen that actually the trick for Casper to turn the game around is to stress Miranda. Mm. And to uh, maybe start caring about the bombs. Um, there has been a lot of damage from bombs. Yeah. But it's just too many hit points. All right. Is this the turn that they finally take care of Biggs? That looks like... Uh, Two hits. Hitting a focus, he spends the focus, and that looks like uh, oh. plenty of evades. We still have a range one shot from the from the scout. Miranda will try Miranda and bring down yeah, the yeah. scout now. That's uh, two, three red dice on two green, and uh, spending the focus. First There's nothing the scout can do. No, we'll no. just take a damage, and finally, oh, let's this see. Will be interesting. Spends a shield. Spends a shield. Oh, he just won. won. Oh. And the scout Kasper survives. Casper got lucky there. That's crazy. The, the kill shots have failed miserably. Focus for two. Biggs doesn't have enough. And he's out of here. Mm. Kept surviving for really long All right. time. Alright, this was a very, very good trade for Tommy. Yeah. Contracted scout at one. Uh, fan with a uh, with one damage and Asajj also very very close uh, to losing uh, all his all the hull. It's been a lot of work for Casper just to bring down one ship. How to how to manage the rest of the game, considering that Miranda still has uh, one bodyguard. Yeah. And she has the bomblets and the concussion missiles. Yeah. So, the only um, moment where the game could have turned around is uh, if uh, Asajj kept stressing Miranda, preventing uh, mm. any surprises, and if Biggs had died two turns before. Yeah. Mm 
but uh, 17 minutes uh, until the end of the game. Um, Tommy is not running away, he's uh, putting up a fight. He knows that uh, one good shot can bring the scout down, that's some extra points. Because the uh, okay. Asajj lost half Tommy points and the scout lost half oh, points. Yeah. Alright, so uh, now it's time for Casper to make a gamble. We know that's not his style. No, he hasn't been do doing that in the previous matches. At the, at the moment, Tommy could just play defensively, doing the runaway game for a certain victory, but... Uh, I guess he goes in for goes for the kill. That looks like range three uh, between the scout and Lorik. So that's going to be three green dice for the scout, for three red dice uh, and re-rolls on the focus for Lorik. Miranda might just be a little too mm, far. Yeah, I think so. How quick can Casper uh, bring down uh, uh, Lorik? He can have five hits with uh, with Fen, and then uh, Asajj can have uh, three, maybe four. Yeah. Um, so it is possible in one turn to to leave Miranda alone. So this uh, this move by Tommy might be a little too aggressive, but they are out of range. Uh, so. Move on to the next uh, next turn. Is there enough time? Uh, if Lorik dies, that's going to be 30 points for Casper. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, this this could actually be a, a close game if, uh, if the scout survives. He might go in for the block right now. Let's see, uh, Lorik probably is going to do a slow maneuver. Mm. Miranda might turn around and uh, pose the usual threat. And we haven't seen the concussion missiles. Nope. So if Asajj gets too close, he will probably get a missile uh, surprise. Alright, trying to save the scout. Might be a little too late for that. Taking focus for everyone. Seeing what it does. Yeah, keeping it slow. Yep. Going for the kill shot at range 2, maybe range 3. <coughs> Is that a reinforce? That uh, so. seems a little bit too cautious. No need for taking. Uh, oh, could have taken uh, a focus for defense, but the reinforce is a safer bet, and he has the Wookiee commandos. So. Mm -hmm. Focus evade for Asajj, and Fen Rao is now hiding somewhere behind. Still, uh, he can still slam to the right. Uh, yeah. Another two turn. Too far for target lock. That would have been the missile that uh, mm. would have changed the game. Yeah. Finally and uh, decisively. Question is whether he can clear the rock in the next turn. With he will. He's slamming. 
<clears throat> so making sure that he has a unobstructed move next turn, even if if he had clipped the the rock, we still have a the option of taking the the target lock next turn. I think he cleared it. No so uh, with the advanced lamp, can he take a target lock right now? But mm. he doesn't have advanced lamp. No, no, oh, he doesn't have advanced lamp. Yeah. All right. So. Guidance tips? Yeah. 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 Okay. So he is hoping for for bringing his concussion missile to bear. Would be my guess. All right. So that Fen is be risky. Whew, out there. So if the scout is at range 3, yeah. there's still a fair chance that he's going to survive one more yeah. round. Again, with only 10 minutes, 11 minutes remaining, that's three rounds, maybe. Miranda will be very tough to take out. Especially with Lorik still uh, hovering yeah, but about. But those 44 points on Miranda are pretty safe. Yeah. The question is, can Casper win? By taking down uh, Lorik's 30 points and... Um, and not losing any more Not points. losing, yeah. Interesting to see. Perfect numbers it from... It's uh, still possible to turn this around. Yeah, but perfect numbers from uh, Asajj and uh, mm. Fenn will, uh, will leave little five hits on Lorik. this aggressively. Okay, so he decides to boost in and go for Miranda. That's uh, that's <coughs> interesting. I thought he would target oh. lock uh, Lorik, yeah, but Miranda can't shoot right now. Maybe, oh yeah, ma so maybe trying to pose an interesting target for Lorik instead of the scout. Because at the moment, I think he's so. That range. was a. Uh, at least one shield on Miranda. And a sash also on Miranda. Range three. three. Since there's Two no hits. Stretching. And uh, plenty of evades. Yes. Yeah. It looked like focus evade evade. I think he chose his target to. Um, yeah, just go for the scout and. Uh, and ensure you have enough points mm. and no worries. Maybe trying to bait with uh, with Fen. Mm -hmm. See what that looks like range one. Yeah. Now he's going for the scouts. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's the smart move. And um, there's two two two, ev two natural oh. evades. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so we got a new bigs on the board. The scout fires back with two hits, one evade, uh, so reinforce. reinforce. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So the game is not over. Eight minutes, and Casper um, needs to get into range one and put five red dice with the fan and four red dice with the with the Saj and yeah. bring something down. It is possible actually to bring Miranda down, but unlikely. Mm. Especially if they stay together. Yeah. So we might see... Um, we might see Miranda banking two or three to the right. And Lori going only one forward. Mm. That would basically ensure she cannot be killed. Yeah. Seven, eight minutes, that's uh, that's two rounds in X-Wing. Maybe three if they really rush yeah. it. All right, Tommy uh, playing it smart, playing it carefully. He uh, has a good chance to go to uh, top four. Semi-finals at the end of the tunnel. Very 
interesting to see what will Casper do with the uh, with Fen. Yeah, Casper needs to go all in. If he wants to win, he needs to uh, have some good luck and yeah. needs to have some uh, some range ones. In the moment, he since Fen is not the uh, is not able to slow play very well, so if he hopes to have a a shot, I think his bet maybe maybe we'll see a K turn. K, K turn Fen? Can you K turn Fen here and just ignore the bomb? Oh yeah, that's a bomb, of course. Oh, yeah. Bomb yeah, that's that would be. And Talon uh, rolls are two or three, two. two. So yeah, that's not uh, yeah, that's not enough space. S nope. Depending on how. Yeah, depending on how Miranda moves. So what is happening here? Why are he they measuring? To, uh, he wants to to see if he can uh, look at the lower style. Uh huh. Uh, intelligence agent. One yeah. Range if one if he can go, if if Tommy. Uh, no, nope, it moves. It's out of range. Mm. Because of course, Fen yeah, if has Lorik a. If was doing a, maybe a bank or something, he could turn and then barrel roll in for the block. Mm hmm. All right, the scout will take the focus for everyone. Yeah. So, guessing once, one trail to me. Oh, is it that? Will we see a bang? Oh, one bang, that will be. Interesting. Giving up on the scout points. Why would you mm -hmm. do that? Miranda will get close enough for a TLT shot. Yeah, most likely banking with Miranda to bring in a TLT. Alright, Asajj oh. has range one, or no, oh, it's going for, uh, it's too far. Oh, all for the concussion missile on one of them. This will be interesting. Of course, the... Uh, Miranda doesn't have any shields. She doesn't have shields yet? She doesn't have any shields. Oh, okay. Uh, Casper went That's for true. Miranda in this last round. Ah, okay. So he didn't show it in low range, he's going for Miranda. Mm. So what Miranda has to do is... Uh, I'm going one forward. Okay, so he wrote a lot of uh, he wrote focus. Must have done so. Oh, a lot of symbols yeah, on the defense. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Talon roll. No, the one no, shot. The one shot. <sighs> that doesn't look like the right move. Hmm do here I think even though it sounds crazy but a 4k taking the bomb but hoping for survival would put five red eyes on Miranda and probably mm. turn the game around that's I mean with three four minutes on the clock yeah why not what else can he do yeah. lose the game with the 26 points destroyed and uh, both of his big ships uh, half points He oh he uh no he didn't take a target lock. He barrel rolled the uh, oh but the with the Miranda. So no, not the concussion missile, regaining his shield. Was he going? Yeah. Yeah, there's an evade. And uh, this is uh, ah he has an evade, so he will. Spend no, that's not enough. Is that enough? All right, so Check that's one. one. Interest. Miranda recovered one shield. We're really hoping that the camera won't fail right now.
Okay, we are missing uh, an important part of the game. Camera just is not recovering on time. Further damage in on, on Ventress. So Ventress is down to one hull. All right, we are trying to recover the main camera. Sometimes it happens the camera might be a little too hot. There we go. So Ventress, uh, one left. That was my water bottle. <clears throat> and um, this could have been the round where uh, Fan took a gamble, risked exploding, but at least would have uh, hmm. would have got a shot. Because now, now it's unlikely. No, this point is. Casper needs a hail mary now. So this game actually proves the disadvantage of large base ships, because um, now we have these uh, small small base ships that have almost the same amount of hit yeah. points but will not lose half points so Casper has uh, a list that suffers from this um. yeah it's e very easy to give away a few points on the on the contract contracted scouts it's easy to bring down on half yeah also I mean we have uh, Lorik and Miranda with nine hit points yeah. uh, and the scout with very nine tough targets away. We saw in the previous uh, game how, how tough the uh, the gunships are. Okay, so actually, shouldn't uh, Latsrazi have saved uh, that one hit point on... Uh, because I don't see Miranda stressed. Was Miranda stressed? Oh, that could have been. This looks like range 2. But... Uh, the game is mostly decided, we're just going to see how, uh, and this is the last round, how the ships will uh, end up. I'm, I'm still surprised the scout is out there. <laughs> just dragging itself with one, uh, one hole left. Okay, where is uh, Asash going? Taking a three bank. Okay, so at this point, no, not taking any, any even the slightest risk. So Lorik heading out. Yeah, it could be still an arc, but range three, it's unlikely. Hmm. Most likely, see a bank from bank or turn from Mir Miranda to get into range of uh, to make sure to be in range of uh, Lorik. And with this turn, it's practically game over. Yeah. There's no chance that uh, any of those ships will get killed. Mm -hmm. And we'll turn one up and boost and um, hope for the best. No, or a turn. Roll. What? Nope. That's uh, okay. Kind of a surprising. Hmm. Yeah. It happens with the uh, with the players that. Uh, and why is he bell rolling into Maybe range? Maybe he thinks he can still get arc. Hmm. No, it's not possible. I'm pretty sure that there's no arc. No. That so what's a um, odd move? I even risk getting into range of the bomb. So I think uh, the Casper strategy is actually working against him. 
he missed two or three opportunities of playing aggressive and maybe getting a, a range one shot with Fen. That was the only mm. only way of actually turning the game around. Now um, there's not much it can be done. There's not enough red dice. Uh, the rebels are just too resistant. So Miranda trying to kill the scout and uh, the scout refuses, focusing for one evade. Second TLT. Spending the, the last shield and that will be enough. All right. So Tommy goes on to uh, to semi-finals. All right. That was uh, an intense match. I have yeah. a feeling that players, of course, at this level have a tough time giving up. There's the, mm. the saying never yeah. give up, but it was, a, it was a very, very complicated game. There needed to be some gambles. Uh, mm. And that was, uh, that was not his playing style. Kasper was not willing to gamble with his ships getting on top of bombs in the, in the end of the game. So, uh, yeah, we have um, Rebels moving forward. We'll um, we'll take a little break and uh, yeah. see how the other other players are doing, and uh, choose a fun uh, fun matchup for the semifinals. Uh, signing out. See you soon.